Good morning, good morning. It's your man Mel Mel back here again, saving by the numbers. We're in week 30, can you believe it? Week 30 for those people that have been following along. This is the last of the $6 July. This is the last week, so I gotta have my $6 ready, which I do. You probably see it in the graphic there. It's not a problem. Press for time, it's gonna be five minutes. No intro music, you know the deal. Just in a crunch trying to get it done. But I wanted to talk about something that's really simple and I think that you can all relate to. It has been said by many famous people, you know, many wise and famous people. It's important to remember your why. But I'll say this before you can remember your why, why you do stuff. I think it's important to have a reason why for whatever you do, you know, be it saving money, be it trying to learn a new skill or trade or lose weight or. You know, just be a better spouse or worker, you know, whatever it is you try to do just to be a better person. But for the sake of this conversation, it's about saving money. You know, I think it'll help you when you understand the reason why you're doing what you're doing if you're putting money to the side. Because if you just put it to the side for the sake of putting it to the side, it can get dicey. You can find yourself just saying, hey, this makes no sense. I could use this money for something else. Why am I putting it in the jar or putting it in the bank? You know, what's, the, what's the purpose of it all? And I think a lot of times in life when we don't understand the purpose or why we do things, it's easy to get lost. It's easy to find yourself out there just doing it to be doing it. And the reason I say that is particularly because this week is, you know, it's been one of those weeks. It's been a stressful week. It's been, you know, one of those times where you're just trying to get through. And, and sometimes you have to really, you know, remember why but first have a reason why you're doing what you're doing and i and i know what i'm doing it for i know why i'm saving money and why i'm putting money to the side which i'll probably get into in another time but it's important to reinforce those those narratives or the narrative why you do what you do because it's easy to get lost when when you get lost it's because you lost focus you you're so caught up in everything else you know, maybe life work health just emotions different things that can you know come at you at one time it's easy to get sidetracked and find yourself in tahiti somewhere when you were trying to go to france you know it happens maybe that's just my my analogy of that particular situation and, and i know a lot of you folks understand where i'm coming from because i don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you're trying to do something and you're focused on it and then something happens and the next thing you know, you just kind of totally lost whatever it is that you were doing. You was like, my mind was on one thing. Now I'm on two or three different other things that has nothing to do with the original purpose of what I was trying to do. You know, you just literally, like I said, for, this, for lack of a better term or lack of, better bur- blah, 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 lack of better words, excuse me, I'm still waking up. You just get sidetracked. And there's nothing wrong with getting sidetracked. There's nothing wrong with forgetting why. There's nothing wrong with you know, just losing sight of it. But it's really about how you, you know, get yourself back. And and you get and you get yourself back by having the reminders out there, by saying, Hey, look, I know there was a reason why I did what I'm doing. And maybe sometimes you have to leave yourself notes or remind somebody to remind you or, you know, just keep a, a vision board as some people do, of of the things that they're trying to attain. And it helps. I mean, I know it sounds silly. I know some people are saying, why would I do that? Why, you know, it doesn't matter. But it's the simple things. It's the simple things that help us get to the goals and the the things that we want to accomplish. Because we make things complicated in life about, you know, having complex strategies and schemes and different philosophies that may not work or may not need to even be applied to what we're trying to do. Sometimes the simplest things are the most necessary things to do. To, in order to get us where we need to go. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you saving money is the end all to be all, but it creates a habit. It creates a discipline. It, it helps you to understand how and why you use your money and the importance of a dollar and how quickly and fleeting it is when it comes to that particular thing. But thank you for listening. I appreciate you folks. And God spare life. I see you in week 30. Thank you for listening. This is the end of $6 July. I'll see you on $5 August. That is next week. Coming sooner than you think. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Peace.